Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. People continue to leave New York. This story gets bigger every day, every hour, actually. More people are considering leaving New York. And so T Tony Saruga posted on Twitter, they still have no idea what they've done. What is that sucking sound? I do not want to cause any additional anxiety for my partners, but our family office is working on pulling $2 billion out of New York City as cleanly as possible. A number of pension funds that have already abandoned ESG are now divesting from New York real estate. This is an example of how stupid liberals actually are. They don't understand the law of unintended consequences. They actually thought businesses would sit around and look at this and go, hey, they're just going after him because he's Donald Trump. That's the whole problem. If they're going after him just because he's Donald Trump, they can go after somebody else just because they're somebody else. But it gets even better because Tony Saruga then posted a link to the book, the um, three felonies a day book, which basically is that how Americans, how they use the justice system to target the innocent. And then it gets even nuttier because he goes on and he says, I know many reading this think that they are experts in everything. You're not. Those of us who actually attended law school and have been doing commercial real estate for over 40 years, you've been lied to. You do not have the facts. You do not know what you are talking about. We employ two of the largest law firms in the country, and they've been in meetings 16 hours a day to determine just how bad this all really is. Every one of these companies representing trillions of dollars in real estate is carefully evaluating whether to stay or exit. And he goes on and lists all these, Extel Development, Building Management Company, Stere Corporation, RFR Realty, J Group, so on. There's like 20 companies listed here. And then he goes on to say, whether Trump wins on appeal or at SCOTUS, the precedent has been set, a wall has been broken, and there are no takebacks. Any company can now be targeted and have their assets seized at the whim of an overzealous AG or politicians. I don't expect you to know or understand CRE practices, but every company below could be found guilty of the exact same actions the Trump organization was accused of and found guilty because it is not a crime. So the other day I, I had uh, Kevin O'Leary and he was talking about victimless crime. See, and somebody posted in the comments and they were right on. It's not only not, it's not, it's not really a victimless crime. It's worse than that. It's not even a crime. It's not a crime at all. So they're prosecuting him for what isn't even a crime. The feds declined to file charges, as did the previous AG. And the reality is this should have been heard by the commercial division. However, they had already declined to file. How do you suppose? So this was supposed to be tried in the commercial division of the New York courts. But instead, they went with Judge Egg Moron. The guy who takes torso photos. The guy who is banging the opposing counsel's assistant. I mean, all, you guys, I've, I've covered all these stories. The guy who decided Trump was guilty before the trial even started. And Letitia James, Letitia James, whatever, the same way. And then you got Kathy Hochul coming on and defending this nonsense. New York is not safe. They realize that. Who do you suppose the real experts in complicated commercial cases, part of the Supreme Court of New York State, would decide not to pursue. And some guy responds to him and with a laughy face and says, all that leave will simply be replaced. It's called capitalism. Hurt, hurt, hurt. And I'm sure, wait, in fact, I'll click on his profile. My voice for humanity. It's a Ukraine flag. It's a freaking Ukraine flag. I just, I'm a, unbelievable. This, I, this is not surprising people. These are the people the ones who run around with these Ukraine flags in their bio, who run around talking about social justice and would go out and actually utilize the criminal justice system to prosecute and persecute a businessman who was simply getting business done in a crime that does not exist because it's not a crime because he paid back all the loans. There was no victim in this case. And what Judge Engeron, Letitia James, and Kathy Hochul have done to New York is ensure that New York City becomes they were already losing people to, you know, uh, outflow. Everybody was leaving New York already because the taxes sucked and businesses were leaving because of the regulatory environment. Now they have simply accelerated the downfall of New York, which has always been known as one of the greatest cities in the world. 
And they have just tanked it. The liberals have just tanked it. They won't prosecute criminals on the street who are actually attacking cops, illegal aliens. Instead, they give those people money and reward them while they take people like Trump, who has built the skyline of New York, and they do this crap to him. People, New York is a dying city. And it's sad to see. I was there back when the twin, before the Twin Towers fell. I was in New York doing a speaking engagement for the uh, U.S. Army Recruiting Battalion. And I really enjoyed it. I actually rode the subway, all of it. And it, it had its own feel to it. It's not a place I'd want to live, but it was fun to visit. I don't even want to go there anymore. Hey, keep fighting the good fight, people. Remember to support my sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com. Use promo code Lumberjack. It's the last week. You, up till Sunday, you can still get free shipping on the products. Go get some Giza sheets. You'll love them. Peace out.